Today we will discuss about basics of communication part 2 where we will discuss about the various types of communication intrapersonal interpersonal group communication and mass communication then we will discuss the various techniques of communication and after that we will discuss the barriers of communication there are three barriers of communication language barrier physical barrier and socio psychological barrier let's start now in the session of basics of communication part 2 we will discuss about types of communication techniques of communication and barriers of communication we will discuss about basic these basic three major points now in the next that we will discuss the types of communication now there are majorly four types of communication intrapersonal communication interpersonal communication group communication and mass communication so one by one we will just discuss about these types of communication so now we will discuss about intrapersonal communication intrapersonal communication is a communicator's internal use of language or thought it can be useful to envision interpersonal communication occurring in the mind of individual in a model which contains a sender receiver and feedback in loop so in a further if we'll explain intrapersonal communication we will discuss that intrapersonal communication can be defined as communication with oneself and that may include self-talk acts of imagination and visualization and even recall or memory as well so in this uh, in other words that whenever we are communicating within oneself that is called interpersonal in this image we can very well see suppose what is go, uh, something going on someone's brain or in his mind or in her mind that is motivation empathy self esteem decision making commitment now now it can be dreaming it can be thinking about someone that is also called as intrapersonal communication now the next types next type of communication is interpersonal communication now we will discuss about interpersonal communication now interpersonal communication is the process of exchange of information ideas and feelings between two person through verbal and non-verbal methods now it often includes face-to-face -face exchange of information in a form of voice facial expression body language and gesture the level of one's interpersonal communication skills is a measure through the effectiveness of transferring messages to others now in the diagram we will very well we can very well see that there are two persons they are communicating with each other one is with microphone through computer through uh, through handshake and everything whenever any two people any two person uh, they are communicating with each other that means that is this is interpersonal communication intrapersonal is that is with within oneself and interpersonal means when two people are communicating with each other so if you can explain in any ways when two people are in the same place and are aware of each other's presence then communication is taking place no matter how unintentional now in an, another word uh, like without speech an observer may be using cues of posture facial expression and dress to form an, in, to form an impression of others role emotions emotional state personality and other intention although no communication may be intended or people receive messages through such forms of non-verbal behavior now next we will discuss about group communication now group communication the meaning itself is clear that group, group communication is interaction and exchange of information between culturally geographically or linguistically alike people who are a member of a group in an organization it may be defined as the mode by which employees and the employer team members communicate with each other that is 
group communication now we can very well look at that this is a group communication it can be a peer group it can be a classroom it can be a friends group like a family friendship uh, friendship circle work team committees and sports team and all exa all example of group communication individuals belong to many types of groups that can be any random group so that is called group communication now we will discuss about mass communication mass communication is a process in which a person group of people or an organization sends a message through a channel of communication to a large group of anonymous and heterogeneous people of organization people people and organization you can think of a large group of anonymous people on heterogeneous people as either general public or a segment of a general uh, of any general kind of public channels of communication include broadcast like television radio social media and print so that's define a mass communication so uh, if you'll discuss in a, a, a different word now mass communication is the study of how individuals and entities relay information through mass media to large segment of population at same time it is usually understood to relate to newspaper magazine and book publishing as well as radio television and film as these medium are used for disseminating information news and advertising so now we need to understand that mass communication happen with a large number of people heterogeneous heterogeneous means that those who are not like together it can be a four year old student or it can be a uh, a 60 year old man it can be anything that we cannot define in a way so when we spread and the message is usually gets multiplied with a large number of people and it spread and that is called mass communication now we need channel because mass communication needs to use mass communication has to use a kind of mechanism it can be any mechanism any kind of technology it can be television internet radio social media billboards now leaflet magazine newspaper now these are the many medium that they can use now these are the picture these are the name it is mentioned these are the several channels of mass communication so uh, in broad way when we spread uh, a message to the large number of people or large number of heterogeneous people and we use a, a, a mechanism or any technique uh, to broadcast or telecast on any ways and that that is called mass communication now we will talk about the techniques of communication now in techniques of communication we'll discuss about verbal and written communication where we, whereby we will discuss about little bit non-verbal communication too now the next is formal and informal communication and next is upward and downward communication now we'll start with verbal communication now verbal communication is the use of sound and words to express yourself especially in the contrast to using gesture mannerism non-verbal communication an example of verbal communication is say no when someone asks you to do something you don't want to do it means here you are just you no know, telling that person that you don't want to do this means no i don't want to do this now i'm speaking to that person now the most apparent type of verbal communication is oral and a number of example of oral communication is readily available speeches presentation announcement are all forms of non-verbal communication as well as casual conversation between friends is also called uh, verbal communication now the diagram that two people do person they are talking to each other now that is a verbal communication now uh, in a technique of communication which is not mentioned in the uh, earlier template that is non-verbal communication means non-verbal communication refers to the gesture facial expression tone of voice eye contact or lack of eye contact anyways body language posture and other ways of ways people can communicate without using language so that is also called non-verbal communication such as i'm just giving you some example like body language 
now body language such as facial expression posture and gestures eye contact human typically seek information through eyes we look at many ways now distance can also be taken as a uh non verbal communication sometime we do personal distance social distance public distance your distance from people during communication is also gives you a message now voice non verbal use of voice such as gasp sign and symbol anything now touch to such as handshake or high five any kind of fashion or your dress sense the way you are dressing up that is also a non verbal communication whether from where you belong your dress your attire this is so that is also non verbal communication now the diagram itself is a uh, mention that these are the many faces okay we can see now many faces just now giving a different kind of uh, gestures so that we can understand it can be anything now these are the all patterns of non verbal communication posture body language eye contact blinking tone of voice facial expression expression smell time personal presentation gesture pitch of voice posture so these are any anything i suppose we are like surprised we are uh, sad we are happy we are thinking we are feeling lazy we are thinking we are skeptical now there are many expression that we can talk about so these are non verbal communication next technique is written communication which is very simple we all know but then too we are discussing now written communication refers to the process of conveying a message through the written symbols with any kind of language so in other words any message exchange between two or more person that makes use of written words is called written communication now as we can see the diagram a written communication means sending of messages orders and instruction in writing through letter circular manual reports telegram office memos bulletin etc it is a formal method of communication and it's very uh, it's less flexible now we create a kind of document so in document format it is more of like formal in the next very segment we will talk about the formal and informal communication now informal communication refers to interchange of information officially the flow of communication is controlled and is a deliberate effort this makes it possible for the information to reach the desired place without any hindrance at a little cost and in a proper way now formal we need to understand that this is a very specific kind of pattern in the diagram we itself that we people are in a board meeting so they are exchanging they are thought they have a particular attire and everything so that is a formal communication now uh, for example a formal communication generally includes following things like legal texts such as contracts property lease real estate deeds court related documents maybe your ha your home document your asset document example like application banker's note property papers official emails letter lawsuits civil and criminal uh, litigations and court proceedings in general now the next is the next technique is informal communication which is we normally we do whenever we are at home or co communicating anything now the informal communication is the casual and the unofficial form of communication wherein the information is exchanged spontaneously between two or more persons without conferring the prescribed official rule rules processes system formalities and chain of command means it's a very casual kind of conversation that example to th like informal communication example is to think of it like a conversation between a family at a dinner table any child can turn to the mom or dad of family uh, of the family and casually ask them questions about something they 
brought up in the family meeting or any suppose we are talking to our friends and anyways so we will discuss very casually now the next technique that we need to understand that is upward communication and downward communication now in upward communication what we do upward communication is a process of information following from the lower levels of a hierarchy to the upper levels for example of up what communication is are the performance reports they are prepared by lower management and re reviewed by the upper management now suggestion boxes employee satisfaction surveys meetings with the upper level management now these are the upward communication now in upward communication what happens that when the communication flows from uh, junior level to senior level now the next technique is same the reverse is downward communication now downward communication occurs when information the message flow down through an organization's formal chain of command or hierarchical status in the other words messages and the orders start at the upper level of the organizational hierarchy and move down toward the bottom level now upward communication is the line of communication through which subordinates convey the information to their seniors and which i discussed earlier now the downward communication is the formal chain of command established to direct subordinate or convey information pertaining to organizations subjects of ob or objectives and policies and strategy in this diagram we can very well see that suppose the first diagram is upward communication worker supervisor and manager and the second diagram we have a comparison the first one is that the arrow is going downward means superior to the subordinate means the downward communication and the next diagram is the arrow is going upward like junior subordinate to the superior so this is the contrast of downward communication and upward communication now these are the techniques of communication now next we will discuss about the barriers of communication if you look at uh, we'll explain the well, explain what is a uh, barrier of communication means is a kind of disturbance hindrance and any such kind of thing which dis which cause a, a break in the communication or it get an hindrance uh, flow of the various communication now there are three major categories of barriers that is language barriers physical barriers and socio psychological barriers in a very quick format that we are, we are i'm trying to explain you the several barriers of communication now the language barrier is means that lack of common language suppose english is very common in between you and me or the my listener and um, uh, and the speaker suppose if i'll talk about or speak or maybe discuss something in tamil or telugu or in spanish and if you we'll start then you may not get get it unless if i'm not uh, translating it into english or hindi so to understanding each other word meaning or any kind of thing we have some common language if you will not find any kind of common language then it is a also a barrier or a hindrance that is mean lack of common language now next is grammatical errors one has to whenever we are writing something or speaking something we need to understand the proper grammar so if we'll do any grammatical mistake suppose if you are using is instead of was or was instead of is or are instead of is or suppose any kind of mistake that we are doing it means that communication is there is a break in the communication that is grammatical errors now use of jargons jargons means a very tough words like use of jargon means whenever in any kind of communication that is hindi or english or any kind of language when we use some of the very uh, outdated words or very tough words and suppose the next person is not at all qualified the way anyone else or the sender is so they may get some problem or the receiver will face something or anything wrong in that now next is semantic barrier semantic barrier is a kind of a barrier that we understand when the common words 
like there and there bat and bat so there are many similar kind of words and we collide together together and together tail tail and tail now these are the common word like in if we recall, talk about in hindi like kal and kal sona and sona sometimes this kind of similar word or semantic variant in language it really uh, disturb the communication and that is also a language barrier now the physical barriers it is definitely some physical barrier that really uh, disturb first is age definitely age if a 60 year person talking to a 10 year old uh, boy his pain his feeling and everything definitely the 10 year boy 10 year old boy does not have that kind of maturity to understand a 60 year old man so age is a kind of hindrance sometime so mostly we make friends our own age group or class or anything so the communication would be more easier the next is gender definitely sometime we are more uh, definitely exceptions are there but in gender boys and boys they make very good friends and they can communicate their own kind of problem and same with the girls any woman can describe or share a problem to a woman uh, in a very open-heartedly open-mindedly so that one can understand sometime gender can be a physical barrier now time and distance now they are very correlated with each other now time suppose we we need to get any kind of news suppose we will get a, any news which is very much important af and after three days the news is almost redundant suppose we are getting a cyclone if we will not getting an information within the time period and we are getting after some time or after the due date or time then everything will be a disastrous and so we need to understand that you know time is also very important and so as distance suppose uh, whenever we are staying with together with someone with friends with parents definitely we are very much close to each other suppose we are get, uh, we are uh, maintaining any kind of distance or uh, maybe a physical distance or or any kind of mental distance that also a kind of a barrier or physical barrier that's called distance and now one is physical noise physical noise can be any kind of sound horn disturbance like any technical disturbance which really cause a break in the communication that is called physical barrier now in the next that a socio psychological barrier of communication in these barrier there are many uh, very barriers we usually find in our society in, in in our attitude we definitely get that first is status definitely now uh, in any family if you have a friends or anything you always make friends with uh, your kind of understanding at your level suppose there is a party in your family or anyone's family they invite normally the same kind of status quo person or the friends uh, we never get any kind of uh, a boy in a road or any man in a road we are sitting in that we never or a man who is into mansion they never get gel with each other they, they hardly get a friendship with each other so what happens that status sometime creator hindrance now close-mindedness when our thinking is somehow closed we never expect or accept any kind of uh, changes in our normal life then it is called a close-mindedness and it is also kind of a hindrance and a barrier of communication now too much of emotion now emotion sometimes we are too much laughing we never get to understand what is the seriousness is sometimes we are crying we never get anything why we are crying we are over emotional so what happens that in over emotional someone is asking us to do anything we definitely feel a kind of rigidity we really restrain that will not understand now abstracting suppose i'm introducing anything suppose one has to pursue anything or in advertising or anything people try to create a very positive atmosphere and they try to demean the negative environment so abstracting is also a kind of thing now values and belief they are also correlated with each other now we can take about several religions several casteism several belief the pattern of marriage and anything so 
एवरी वन एवरी कम्युनिटी एवरी रिलीजन एवरी रिलीजियस प्लेस दे डू हैव डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग सो समाइम विद देयर वैल्यू एंड बिलीव दे क्रिएट सम काइंड ऑफ हिंडरेंस समाइम कॉस्ट कस्टम्स लाइक रिचुअल्स दे ऑल्सो क्रिएट सम काइंड ऑफ सोशियो साइकोलॉजिकल बेरियर सो दिस इज द मेजर द मेजर पार्ट ऑफ बेसिक्स ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन सो हियर बाई वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द टाइप्स ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन and techniques of communication and language barriers of communication I hope you understood and if you have any problem we will just solve it in the query session thank you